<laughs> blub, 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 blub. Hello. Is every anyone there? No one there at the moment. I'll just wait. Da 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 da. -da. No one there, Des. There is. Oh, good morning. I'll just wait for about twenty seconds before we start. Ten thirty sharp. How's everyone's morning? Good? Yeah? What'd you have for breakfast this morning? Do you know what I had? Cocoa Pops. I love Cocoa Pops. Yesterday I had cornflakes and tomorrow I'm going to have toast. Hmm. Right. People signing in, Mr. D? Lovely. All right. It's 10.30 and I don't like to keep people waiting. So, um, good morning, Tamariki Ma. Hi to mums and dads, grandparents, aunties and uncles. Hello, everyone in Facebook land. I hope you're well. My other gonna stay is hold on a moment. Oh, oh, I sneezed up a donut. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Have you ever sneezed up a donut? Do you know what I sneezed up this morning? An elephant. Yes, the zoo had to come and pick it up. Right, I'll pop the donut over there. Sorry about that, guys. I'll have that for my morning tea. Now, talking about sneezing or coughing, children, if we sneeze or cough, show me what we do. Do we go like that? No. We use our elbow, you see? I always call that my magic elbow pocket. So if you cough or sneeze, <coughs> into your elbow. And then if you've got a silly germ, it stays there rather than going everywhere else. So good following for that. Okie dokie, so we're going to start out, I've got a few shout outs and birthday calls here and um, I'll just go through the list. Right, first of all, good morning to Marcel in Wellington. Marcel, I hope you're well, I hope you have a nice day and hi to your mum Donna. Right, hello to Gary's wee son, Jacob, oh sorry, big son now, you're all grown up. Jacob, I hope you're well, Jacob's in Masterson, hi Jacob, hope you're good. Hello to Grace in Dunedin and her friend Tom. And you're watching today with Poison Patsy and Rainbow Stripes. Now, Grace, I was talking to you guys on the vid phone yesterday. Um, I'm not doing the magic trick about the duck today. I'm doing that about tomorrow, all right? Because he's gone a bit quackers today, so I'll use him tomorrow, okay? If you pardon the pun. Right, a big hello to Naomi in Cotter Street. Hi Naomi, I hope you're well. Hi to your mum, Helen. Good morning to Josh Hill, who's four years old in Palmerston North. Hey Josh, I hope you're good. And um, I hear that you love the Wibbly Wobbly song. Thank you for that. Now I like doing it. It's one of my it's a magic words. So I wrote a song one day, many, many years ago. Um, hi to Marley in Palmerston North too. Hi Marley, hope you're well. Get your mum to drop me a line. Tell me how your magic tricks are going. And if you need any help, you know where I am. Um, a big hello to Sean Doherty in Canada. Hi to Joe and Caleb. I hope you guys are well. Um, love seeing your Facebook um, post, Sean. <laughs> Seem to be having a great time over there. And Joe, lovely to hear from you this morning. And you're growing up, Caleb. So hi to you guys. Hopefully, one day we'll be able to come for a holiday. And that is on the cards. A big hello to Evelyn in Palmerston North from the um, Palmerston North. Um, and she's my friend. She's a magician in Palmerston North. So hi to you, Evelyn. I hope you're well. OK. Hello to Matapu Preschool. Hi, guys. How's it going up there? Uh, is it a nice day? It is. Oh, lovely. Hi to Carlisle Kindergarten. Hope you guys are well. Hello to Ryan in Wanganui. Happy birthday, Ryan. I saw your children making you some biscuits this morning, Ollie, Lockie and Izzy. So you'll have to post up um, and let me know how the biscuits turn out. So Ryan, I hope you have a happy birthday and we all send you our big love from us. All right. Um, hello to Kaylee as well. Hi, Kaylee. Um, a big hello to Sue and all the Tamaniki Ma at Bellevue Kindergarten. Um, I see this morning you've got a lovely story, and um, I'll talk about that later on in the show. Um, Paula and all the crew at Tiawonga Kindergarten, hope you guys are well. Um, I love coming up to visit you each year, and um, I bet it's a nice day in Tiawonga today. Hi to Layla, who's four, from Montessori Educare. 
Hi Layla, how are you? Is it nice being four? It is great. Um, hello to Rowena and all the uh, Tamariki and the Kaioko at Ermagard Ritchie Kindergarten in Upper Hutt, Wellington. Hi Rowena, I hope you're well and I hope you guys are all having fun if you're back at work. So I know some of the teachers are doing work with, you know, level three work. Um, hello to Tom Drea and your mum Annette. How are you, Tom? Are you good? Thank you for your mum to drop me a line. That's really nice of you. Um, hello to Kathy Boyle in Wanganui. I hope you're resting your leg because you've got a sore leg. Remember, Kathy, elevate your leg higher than your body if you're sitting watching. Have it on a pillow so it's like that, all right? And that's better for your circulation. Good. Um, hi to all the Kaioko and Tamariki Ma at Sunshine Kindergarten in Karori. And hi to you, Jan. Hi. It was lovely visiting you recently before the Rahui. I did my pirate show and it was good fun. We played pirates. Oh, ah. Um, hello to uh, Michael and Shona in Wanganui. I hope you guys are well. And um, hi to Nina May and Luigi. Hello to Zoe Thompson. Now, have you been baking again since your um, beautiful uh, banana cake? Okay, well, send me a picture. I'm gonna actually make today, this afternoon, I thought to myself, it's a beautiful day after I've done the show, I'm gonna go outside of my garden and I'm going to um, do a little bit of gardening to get some nice fresh air and some sun rays because it's a beautiful sunshiny day today. And then this afternoon, I'm going to bake. So I might show you a picture tomorrow. I'm going to make some Bakewell tarts. It's an English tart that we used to have in England. Um, hello to Declan and Aidan in Auckland. I hope you guys are well. Hi to Neil. Um, how's the Wibbly Wobbly going? Now, I think, you know, I'd like to see a whole video one day of the whole, sh um, you know, the whole shebang. All right, cool. Just checking. Hi to River, Havana, Ayla and Indy and Lockie in Hawke's Bay, and hi to your mum, Bex. I will say hello tomorrow if you're not watching today, but I saw that um, message, Bex, and I know the cutoff was 10 o'clock, but I happened to have a spare pen and, you know. Righty-ho. Um, Marley, I've said hello to you in Palmerston, and I'm just, just checking that I've just done everything. Here we go, because I don't want to miss anyone out. And if I've missed someone out by mistake, do let me know because I can rectify that immediately. Okay. Now, my friend at Bellevue Kindergarten, she's doing a story for the Tamariki Ma about being kind. And the story is about a little girl that starts kindergarten and um, how all the children at kindergarten are really kind to her and make her feel welcome. So that's a really good thing to do because we're gonna talk about kindness in a moment. So I'm just going to pop this away over here. Righty ho. Now I've got my, oh, here we go. Got my magic sprinkles. You see my magic sprinkles, see? Now I need to put some magic into them. Now look up at the flower, do you see the flower? I'll just grab some magic from the flower because it's very magical flower today. Hold on, there we are. Oh, here we go. Whoa, here we go. Did you see that happen? Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, all those sprinkles are alight. I better put the lid on. Oh, okay, pop the lid on like that. Okay, now look at the tin. And on the count of three, we're gonna say wibbly wobbly. Are you ready? One, two, three. Say wibbly wobbly. Excellent. And there we have a beautiful, birthday sponge cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday everybody. Happy birthday to you. Rafa no kia kwe. Rafa no kia kwe. Rafa no kia meri. Rafa no kia kwe. Kapai. Give yourselves a big packy packy. And happy birthday to everyone in Facebook land that's having a birthday today. I'll just pop the cake away and I'll be right back. Excellent. Now, children, tell me, do you know what an invisible bucket looks like? An invisible bucket. You don't, of course, because it's invisible. Invisible means you can't see it, but it's there. We all have an invisible bucket. Would you like to see my bucket? You would? Okay, here it is. 
I carry it all the, every day with me. It's packed flat. Say the magic words wibbly wobbly. And there we are. It's a bucket. A magic bucket. And it's a bucket with a smile. Oh my goodness gracious me. Now, in the bucket, of course, it's empty today. But this morning when I woke up, the bucket's empty. And throughout the day, we fill it with kindness. Let me explain. So this morning, when you got up, you had breakfast. Did you thank your mum, dad, grandparents, auntie and uncle or friends for cooking you breakfast or making you breakfast? When you do that, you see, you put a smile into their bucket and you put a smile into your bucket. OK, um, when we get to kindergarten or preschool or childcare centre, do you say good morning to the teachers? You do, because that's really good. That's good manners, because by doing that, you put a smile in their bucket and you put a smile in your bucket. What's another thing we can do? If we play nicely with our friends and be kind to each other, you put a smile in their bucket and you put a smile in your bucket. If you use kind words, of course, you put a smile in their bucket and you put a smile in your bucket. What's another thing we can do to put smiles and happiness into people's buckets? We can, okay, we can play nicely. What else can we do? We can use good words, excellent, yeah. Or you can do something nice for your friends and look, puts a smile on the face and a smile in your bucket. So throughout the day, being kind to each other and nice, you're filling your bucket with kindness, and look, and by the end of the day, by being kind to everyone and nice, do you know what happens? Your bucket is full. I'll just pick up my smile because I've just dropped it on the floor. And by the end of the day, your bucket is full. And when you go to sleep, your bucket empties. And then the next morning, it's ready to be filled again. Now, there is a downside to that. If you don't use nice words to someone or be a bit mean, do you know what can happen to your bucket? Of course, you take away the smile, don't you? And that's called bucket dipping. And we don't dip in buckets because we are bucket fillers. Can you say, I am a bucket filler? Excellent. And by being kind to everyone every day and being nice and respectful, you'll always have a full bucket. Because in Zappoland, we say kindness makes magic happen. So if you're kind to someone, magic does happen. All right. So remember, children, be kind to each other. OK, pat on the shoulder. Excellent. I'll pop the bucket over here. Look at that. Great. Now, do you know what an eka is? Can you say eka? It's a Maori word for fish. Kapai. So we can get fish from the sea. Sometimes I might make kaimawana, which is food from the sea. Now, the other day, I was on my pirate boat, because sometimes I can dress up as a pirate. And um, I was going to make all the shipmates some ika for dinner. And I forgot my fishing rod. So I made one. Would you like to see my magic fishing rod? I made it with three lines so I could catch three fish at once. Look. There we are. Is that high enough, Mr. Cameraman? Bit lower. You can see that. Thank you very much. Right, you see? And I could catch three fish at once, but I put the lines in the water and I caught one fish. This is a magic fish. It's a goldfish. And he's my pet fish. So I didn't eat him because he's my magical pet fish. And he can jump from that side to that side. Would you like to see him do that? All you have to do is go, one, two, three. Can you say jump? And look, ta-da! He can jump from one side to the other. <gasps> now, to make it harder, if you go one, two, three, say jump. Ta-da! And look, he can jump from one side to the other. Mums and dads, it does get better. All right. How did you think I did that? By magic? No. What was I doing? Was I turning it around? 
Was I turning around? No. But what's really good about this fish, if you can go one, two, three, say jump. Jump like that, look, he can jump into the middle, just like so. But what's really good about this fishing rod, if you go one, two, three, say jump, jump, jump. And look, if you say jump, 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 you can catch three fish at once. So give yourselves a big clap for great fishing. All right? Now I'll pop the fishes away. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Right, I'll just put me bucket over there. Me bucket of smiles. Oh, righty ho. Look, do you know what that looks like? You say tomato, I say tomato. It's tomato sauce. It's magic tomato sauce. Look, hang on. <laughs> uh, ooh. See what's inside it? A tomato. Now I'm going to pop the tomato on there. Can you see that all right, Mr. Camera? Thank you very much. And that's a magic tomato. So take your fingers, guys. Wiggle your fingers at the tomato and say the magic words, wibbly wobbly. And when you've got a magic tomato, if you rub it together like that, look. One tomato becomes two. One, two. I'll place the two tomatoes here. Let's play a game. I'll place one in my pocket and one in my hand. I've got one in my pocket. How many in my hand? How many? Let's have a look. Oh, let's count. One, two, three. Let's try it again. I'll place one in my pocket, one in my hand, the other one in my pocket. How many in my hand now? Have a guess. What? No, I've got three. I was tricking you. Can you say eeny, meeny, and miny? Now we're going to pick two. Which two shall I pick? What was that? You want? Eeny and miny. I'll place those in my hand like that. Okay, we'll take, who's that? Meeny. I'll place meeny in my pocket. Shh, go like that. And look, we've got one, two, three. I'll hold the three in there. I'll just grab a magic wand. I've got my pointer today. Here we go. Like that. Shh. What comes after three, children? Look, we've got one, two, three, four. Four tomatoes. Oh my goodness gracious me. One, two, three, four. I'll place all the four in my hand. Now, you see that? Wiggle your fingers and say the magic words wobbly wobbly. And look, they all turn into Big Tom. So give yourselves a big clap for doing good magic. And I'll pop Big Tom away. Now, children, I was five years old when I started doing magic tricks. It was my first day at school. You know what happened? I fell over. I did. But I didn't hurt myself. I just broke my shoelaces. So that night, me and my mum went down to the shop to buy some shoelaces. But the shoelace shop was closed. Next door, there was a magic shop. Walked in, put the money on the counter, said to the man there, do you have any shoelaces for sale? He says, no, but I'll sell you a magic piece of rope. So I took the magic piece of rope, I folded it in half like that, took it home like that, grabbed a pair of scissors from the kitchen counter, cut it in half so I had a pair of shoelaces for my trainers. Now the man in the shop said it was magic rope, so before I went to sleep that night, I tied the two ends together into a little tot. A tot? It's not a tot, what's it called? A knot, very good, just make sure you're watching properly, here we go. And I took the piece of rope like that, and I folded it up, just like that. And I placed it underneath my pillow. Now I must have said wibbly wobbly in my sleep, because the next morning, I woke up and the piece of rope had magically restored again, you see? Just like so. Oh, wow. Now sometimes, if you get a knot in a rope, I'll just make a knot in this rope. What you can actually do, children, you can take the knot and slide it off and you can catch it. And that's the story of the magic shoelaces. Good. 
Right guys, we're gonna finish off now with the Wibbly Wobbly song. So, etu tamariki ma. Excellent. There we go. I will place my hat there. There we go. And I'll put the music on. And I think we're ready to go. So, marching on the spot, Tamariki. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, this is what you do. Wait, girl, all your fingers and the match will come to you. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, you can do it too. Wait, girl, all your fingers and the match will come to you. Wait on your pinkies, fingers and thumbs and the match will come to you. Now, Sappho, the magician, he wanted a new hat. So he opened his book of magic spells and out jumped a cat. The cat's name was Spellbound, his eyes were bright blue. He turned to Zappo, smiled and said, This is what you do. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your pinkies, fingers and thumbs and the magic will come to you. Now Zappo's weak friend, Sean was his name. He put a spell upon the cat, but he still stayed the same. He waved his magic wand, but it broke into two. The cat turned, smiled and said, Sean, this is what you do. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your fingers and the magic will come to you. Now this is the end of the story and show. We hope you've enjoyed it too. Zappo turned the cat into a hat. That's what Wibbly Wobbly all do. Wiggle all your fingers and say the magic words. Because Wibbly Wobbly, it will change the bees and two the birds. Wibbly Wobbly, Wibbly Wobbly, this is what you do. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wibbly Wobbly, Wibbly Wobbly, you can do it too. Wiggle all your fingers and the magic will come to you. Wiggle your fingers, fingers and thumbs and the magic will come to you. It'll come to you. Roll in the magic, boys and girls. Throw it back to the hat. Give yourselves a big pucky pucky. In no hot tamaliki mai, have a seat. I'll just turn that off. Well, look, thank you very much, guys, for um, checking in this morning. Lovely to see you. And everything after the show is always uploaded to my YouTube channel, Zappo the Magician, which is a big Z. Lots of material on there for the children to watch. It's children-friendly um, YouTube site. Um, take care. Be kind to each other. And I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And you'll meet my friend, Egbert the Duck. Bye-bye.